Hello, and welcome back to What Remains of Edith Finch. Last time we learned the story of Molly, a little girl who I'm pretty sure poisoned herself. Grandma Edie. Birds and a snake, huh? Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Okay, so Edie is the one who paints all the portraiture. The room is like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. <laughs> Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. Mm. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. That's one way to do it, I suppose. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. That's right, they did say that his house sank. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore in their new home, Fortress Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. <laughs> his daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Mysteries of death and thereafter. Odin Fitch. Dreams in the Witch House. That's, uh... That's a Lovecraft story. The Odyssey. Tales from Beyond. Yeah, I think I would have gotten along with this guy. <laughs> Mole man beneath the Finch house. About a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Understandable. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. <laughs> Edie won't go. One summer, they evacuated the island. But Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Hmm. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. <laughs> yeah. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Ew. That is quite the, uh... The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife, Kay, left on the house was the pink bathroom. It well, it's hideous. Thing. Yeah, it certainly is. There's a peephole. Not quite sure what that is. Baby bath stuff.
There's a Secret in this Bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Another secret passage. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Call him Finch. Swing. Hmm, interesting. Made a little dark room for his development. Double turns land into a native haven. Sam Finch captured the five grand generals. Go to the Finch National Park. And to say he grew up and went to uh, military. Fort Sam. Certificate of acceptance, United States Marine Corps. Yeah. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. Hmm. Very focused on space stuff. History any more than my mom did. This is the kid that died at seven, right? Nope, eleven. Nineteen fifty to nineteen sixty one. How I want to remember my brother. By Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. So we have a broken leg. Okay, so each stick controls a leg. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think mm -hmm. Calvin always wanted to fly. Oh boy. Since these are all about how people die, we are very close to that uh, edge there. That day, he finally made up his mind to do it. <laughs> I told him going around was impossible. Oh, he's why the... uh said that. He's why the swing is wrapped around the tree, huh? Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. <laughs> but I doubt. I yeah. think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Yeah. <laughs> the day he made up his mind to fly, and he did. Well, <laughs> Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. <laughs> That's 
a bad way to go. Yeah, don't uh, don't make your kid swing set right on a cliff. Nineteen sixty eight. And then the other ending at nineteen sixty one. Mom said grab the Sam enlisted at eighteen and never set foot in the room again. Hmm. What have we here? No. Interesting. <laughs> Those are some really cool secret passages. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. <laughs> oh, this is where we were at before. Let's head back in. It looks like we could go further. Yeah. thought of Barbara as a child star. Yeah. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. <laughs> 44 through 1960s. So she was 16. Waitress. What have we here? Dreadful stories. stories Gaston and Barbara Finch. I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Old Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. <laughs> Delightful. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. <laughs> but in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just a boost that the Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. Uh, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan, Ed's current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Oops. Sam. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency yeah, room. That's not good. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... You're right! <laughs> also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key <laughs> hidden in the music box. The secret no. is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. Interesting. 
20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. She reached for the music box. Good. And then she wound the key. She listened for Rick, but the house was silent. How did the key get back in there if he was still? Hmm. That's not good. And imagine the worst. Yep. We can hit things. But we can't uh, line it up to, like, shoot pool with it. <laughs> Smacking everything. Eh? I think there's a trophy for, like, knocking all of these off. Guess not. Nope, there it is. Clear the table. <laughs> That's delightful. That's obviously the boyfriend. <laughs> I guess it automatically hit him. Just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out. But she kept the little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. <laughs> yeah. No, it won't let us destroy our stuff. Okay, upstairs and to the right, it looked like. Oh. In here. <laughs> I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. He couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara, there's got to be another way out of here. Secret passage? Sure, why not? Hmm. That's how the banister broke. The story might not be over yet. <laughs> the 
vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was... Hmm. Something gonna pop out at me. Inside the house. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, group of people. Oh. Weird. monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. <sighs> I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara. She had a taste for stardom, but unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard, but that's a first time. No, boy. Is all they ever found of her. Her fear. Yeah. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Dee Dee told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. So, I'm thinking that it was, she didn't show up to the convention, so some super fan showed up to her house and, uh, yeah, attacked her. Delightful. Where are we going now? Back out, I suppose. I now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Yeah. Because it had a key in it. Okay, we're going to call this episode there. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please hit that like button. And I hope you'll join us in the next one.